In this video, we are going to uh, differentiate the reaction heat from the heat transfer. We will uh, do this on a hypothetical reaction of A and B producing P and R with their uh, corresponding stoichiometric coefficients of lowercase a, b, p, and r. The analysis we are going to conduct will be around the flow reactor, but this is going to be a general flow reactor. We are not going to identify whether it is a CSTR or a plug flow reactor. Uh, therefore, it is a generic rectangular box representing our reactor. Here we are going to use the term conversion. Uh, conversion is defined as the difference between the concentration at the inlet or in the beginning minus concentration at the exit or at the end of the reaction divided by CA0. Uh, what fraction of the reactant is being converted during the reaction is represented by the term conversion, and uh, x is the symbol that we are going to use. Now, first we are going to uh, simplify this reaction by rendering one of the reactants with unit stoichiometry, right? And that unit stoichiometry for component A allows us to define the conversion term. And this conversion term is going to simplify a complex domain with many different parameters to one single parameter that is called conversion. And we are going to here evolve the energy balance uh, in its most general form to an energy balance that incorporates a chemical reaction. And before we do that, we have to have a rigorous uh, material balance analysis in our hands. In order to be able to uh, get this rigorous analysis, we have to have a stoichiometric table. In this stoichiometric table, we will have species. That uh, we will have their incoming rates. We will have the change that has occurred within the reactor. And we will have the outgoing rates. So our species are A, B, P, and R. Their incoming rate is F, A in, F, B in. Let's have P and R also at the inlet streams. We may have a recycle reactor where we couldn't purify the product and some P and R leaks in to the incoming stream, for example. How much change has occurred? Now, F A in OK, the conversion that uh, was already written was written for a batch reactor. Uh, for flow reactors, we define conversion in terms of molar flow rates, Fa in and Fa. So the change that we have 
for species A is going to be F A in times X. And at the outlet, we have F A. And F A is equal to F A in times 1 minus X. Okay. Now, the change in B is going to be proportional to the stoichiometry of B to A. If A has FA in times X moles converted, then B should have, of course, this is consumed, so I have to put the minus sign. If A has so much being consumed, then B should have FB, FA in, times x, the minus in front, times the stoichiometry b over a. Right? I divide by the stoichiometry of a and multiply by b. So this is going to be fb in minus b over a, fa in times x. With the same logic, we have f a in times x times this time p over a and f a in x times R over A. Similarly, remember, just notice that I didn't put minus sign because these are being consumed, they're depleted, and these are being produced that are produced that they don't have to have a minus sign. So this is F P in plus P over A times F A in times x, and this is fr in plus r over a times fa in times x. Remember, notice that we all have fa in times x terms here. What I will do is, just like I have taken this into fa in parentheses, I will take this one into also FA in parentheses. And I'm going to have FP in over FA in minus B over A X. And I will call this term as theta B, feed stoichiometric ratio of B to A. And when I do the same for the others, I will have F A in theta P plus P over A times X. And we have F A in times theta R plus R over A times X. This is our stoichiometric table. 